That's Great Theater's Tarzan flying through the air at the Paramount Theater. Director John Legg says it's been challenging but fun to bring the play together with flying effects. It is very different to direct a play with uh, flying in it because normally you're in rehearsal and you can stand next to the person that you're having a scene with. Here it's like you're going to be saying this line but you'll be 10 feet in the air and the other person's on the ground. So I, it was kind of interesting visually to try and figure it out. But how do the actors swing on the vines across the stage? For that answer we talked to crew member Ben Dolliger who assists in the flying effects. So we actually take and hook them in. Um, in a couple different scenes, there's a couple different methods, but mainly there's a hook here, as you can see. There's a harness on the back of their body or in front that we clip them in. And then basically it's just a uh, rope and a pulley system. Dolliger says they listen for different cues to know when to send the actors airborne. Hand motions and different things, uh, sounds, that uh, we tip off to do our different pieces and parts of our poles. And it's uh, it's definitely, you're taking somebody's life in your hands. So it's a serious job back here, but we're, you know, having fun with the play as well. Leg says the top of act two is a flying scene highlight in Tarzan. Right when act two starts, we start with trash in the camp and we've got our Turk just flying through the scene a bunch of times. He's going upside down, he's tipping on his side, he's waving things in the air. It looks like he's just holding onto the rope with his feet. Leg says special harnesses are being used to allow the actors to perform all of their aerial maneuvers. Even the director got to try it. I got a harness and hooked myself up one day, so we, the whole crew, took a turn on the flies. You can't watch it and not want to do it. At the Paramount Theater, I'm Joshua Ackerman, WJON.